The algebra of matrices. Find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix using Gauss-Jordan elimination. What are they? Matrices are an array of numbers. Y helps represent the pixels on your electronic device. Interesting fact, pigs don't have many sweat glands, so they roll around and sleep in mud and swim in water to keep cool. Let's discuss the identity matrix. The principal diagonal is full of 1s and the rest of the numbers are zeros. We can use notation to write it as i sub the dimensions. So for example, if we have an identity matrix that is a 2 by 2, we call it an i sub 2. When we multiply a matrix by its identity matrix, or vice versa, the resultant matrix will be the original. Now, let's take a look at an example using a 2 by 2 matrix. Here we have our original matrix, which is a 2 by 2 matrix, multiplied by its identity matrix, or vice versa. And our answer is still the original matrix. So it doesn't matter what the numbers are, the answer will be the original matrix. This is very similar to saying, any number times its inverse is equal to 1. Now, let's take a look at the example we'll be discussing in today's video. Since we're only doing one, let's read the steps. Step one, check the dimensions. Step two, put in identity form. Step three, follow order of operations. Now, let's read the question. Find the inverse if it exists of our two by two matrix where we have in row one, one and two, and in row two, we have four and six. Now, let's show some work. We have written two augmented matrices. The one on the top right is our original, and the one beneath it is the one we're gonna to use to show our work. We need the left side of our augmented matrix to look like the right side. So we need to do some operations to make that happen. And when the left side becomes an identity matrix, the right side will be the inverse matrix. We need to look at the number one and the number four. We want to keep the number one the same because it matches the one in the identity matrix. We wanna change the four to a zero so it matches the identity matrix. Let's do some operations together. So when we add or subtract the two rows together, the four becomes a zero. What do you think we need to do? Well, if we multiply row one by four and subtract row two, then the four becomes a zero. Now let's multiply row one by four. Let's write down row two. In this case, it stays the same since we're not multiplying it. Now let's subtract the two rows and our result is zero, two, four, and negative one. This is our new row two. Now, let's show our work by changing row two in our augmented matrix. Let's write down the same augmented matrix below for our next step. Let's take a look at the second column, or where we have the two twos. The red circle two, or the two on top, needs to be a zero to match the identity matrix. And the gray circle two, or two on bottom, needs to be a one to match the identity matrix. Let's do some operations together. So when we add or subtract the two rows together, the two on top becomes a zero. What do you think we need to do? Well, if we subtract row one by row two, then the two on top becomes a zero. Let's write down row one. In this case, it stays the same because we didn't multiply it by anything. Now, let's write down row two. It also stays the same because we didn't multiply it by anything. Now, let's subtract these two rows, and our result is one, zero, negative three, and one. This is our new row one. Now, let's show our work by changing row one in our augmented matrix. Let's write down the same augmented matrix below for our next step. Now, we only have to change one more number. What number do we have to change? It is the number two. Let's do some operations together. So when we add or subtract the two rows together, wait a minute, we only have to change one row. What do you think we need to do? Well, if we multiply row two by half, then the two will become a one. Now, let's multiply row two by half, and our result is zero, one, one, and negative one half. This is our new row two. Now, let's show our work by changing row two in our augmented matrix. Now, we have our identity matrix on the left-hand side, which means the inverse matrix is on the right-hand side. So our inverse matrix is a two by two matrix where we have in row one, negative three and one, and in row two, we have two and negative one half. And that is our answer, for example, one. Now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video here so you can take your time to answer this question. And I'll show you the result in three, two, and one. Did you get it correct? Awesome. If not, there's always tomorrow.